Hello and welcome to a very brief overview of the Sailor Pro Gear Special Edition Ocean. Uh, this is a model that just came out. Um, here you have the Sailor packaging and the outer cartridge. And I wanted to do this video because uh, a lot of the promotional pictures of this pen uh, when it was announced uh, didn't really seem to do justice to the pen. Um, I debated getting it. Uh, but I knew it was to be made in the same vein as the Sailor Pro Gear uh, Special Edition Earth, uh, which was a brown pen um, that I remember hearing and thinking, oh, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd want that pen. I have enough brown pens. And then I saw it in person and I was really impressed with it. And so I, it was my hope that that was going to be the same case with this. Um, and so I have to say it pretty much is. So don't sleep on it. Um, it's, it's, it, it looks much nicer in person uh, or up close and personal than it did in the promotional materials. To me, in the promotional materials, it had a very matte finish and it has a very high gloss uh, finish uh, for a resin pen, um, much like the Earth. Um, there's a pink one. I think that may have only been released in Japan. It had some sparkles in it, much like that one. Um, so that's why I decided to do the video. Um, and I don't know if it will come across, uh, but uh, at least I could tell you about that, or, or at least tell you that. So here's the pen in the typical seller box. Uh, and here is the pen. Came in a plastic sleeve. Obviously, I've, I've already opened it and taken it out. Um, it comes with a cartridge, which I already have in here, inked up, and, and two... Um, a converter, I'm sorry, and two cartridges. Um, as you know, sailors, converter, and cartridges are proprietary. Proprietary, uh, so they are sailor made. Um, and then there's a whole other story as to whether or not you like their their converters or not. Uh, I'm sure there's videos on that. Um, <laughs> but here, you have the Sailor Pro Gear Special Edition Ocean, and as you can see, it, you know, it's really a very nice looking pen. And I just feel the, the promo pictures didn't do it justice. Uh, and so I'm glad I didn't sleep on it and that I did order it. I wanted to add another 21K nib to my collection. And I wanted to get a grind on it. I didn't have that. so And I like the Pro Gear flat top model, which this is. As you see, the finial in the top have the flat um, as opposed to the rounded cigar shape. Um, and so I kept looking to see when the next program was coming out. I thought the Cosmo was beautiful. Almost wanted to get that, but I have a lot of 14K nibs. I have a lot of program slims and, and I specifically was looking for the 21K, uh, in a, in a standard. Um, so I'm glad I got it. Um, just see if you can see the, the glossy finish feels good in the hand. It looks a lot nicer in person than it did in those, in those pictures, prom promotional pictures that came out. And I also will say... That for some reason, with the rhodium trim here looks darker. It almost looks ruthenium. Um, it looks darker, but it, it is silver. Uh, the way it plays off of the pin color, it, it appears uh, to be darker, um, which I like. It's, it's a very interesting look. So it's a rich, translucent uh, blue green, uh, as, again, uh, body, rhodium trim. Um, mostly translucent in the section here, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can really see the converter. You can't really see through it so much further back in the body, uh, but you can here in this section. And then that beautiful, let's see if we can get it to focus, sailor nib that we all love um, with the anchor. Oh, I'm not focusing very well, let's see better it's a little better there there you go um and you know we all love these the the sailor nibs uh, they're great they're great pens the the 21k nib is extremely responsive and that's what i like about the nib uh this pen comes in all seven standard 21k nib sizes extra fine fine medium uh medium fine broad music and zoom um so that's a, kind of a, a quick look at the pen. Uh, this is the standard model. Okay, so here you have 
the uh, the standard uh, special edition ocean next to a slim Ciela Pro Gear or uh, they call it Sapporo uh, overseas. So you can see it's it's a touch taller than that. And then it's again it's the standard. Uh, so here is a standard um, Seller uh, 1911. Um, and they're about the same size. The, the 1911 appears to be a touch bigger because of the, um, the cigar shape rounded off top. Um, here it is. Let's do this. Next to an Aurora Optima. And they're pretty much, pretty much the same size. Here it is next to the Pelican 800. Pelican 800, uh, 80, uh, 805 Ocean. And just for a comparison with a much larger pin, there is the uh, Visconti Opera Master. Uh, this is the river at the Thames uh, version. So, you get an idea of how big the standard size uh, Pro Gear is. Now, I already had done a writing sample and I'm keeping this, this brief for folks. Um, so here is a look at that writing sample that I did. Um, I got my pen from Dan, uh, Daniel Smith at the Nib Smith. Um, and I got a cursive, it's a broad cursive italic grind. Um, so you see here, you have the, uh, the thin strokes, the thin strokes going across, the thicker strokes coming down. Um, he did a really good job on this grind. You can definitely notice the italic in my writing here. Um, line variation, you can see this was the regular the standard, the, the bigger one is a thicker line. You can see um, with just a touch of pressure, because this is such a responsive nib on these 21K silver pins. Um, here, you can see that, uh, you know, you get the thinner line. Thick. So here you have very thin stroke going across. Again, the thicker stroke coming down. You can see the line variation on this cursive italic. Just to show you in real time, just get some more loose paper, just to show you the ink flow. Um, I asked for it to be very wet. It's got a very decent uh, ink flow. I'm only putting a very little bit down on the paper, so it's pretty good. So yeah, I gotta say I, I, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't sleep on this and I got it. You can see that translucency there again. And again, that's about pretty much the only place I see it. Um, but I do like, it's extremely, it's very glossy. Uh, dare I say almost ebonite glossy. Um, like it a lot. Um, in the hand here, you can see again, this is the standard size. Uh, that is unposted. Post well, of course. It doesn't make it too long or, or, or back heavy. It's pretty balanced. But uh, yes, so don't sleep on this if you think you might you might want it. Um, I'm very happy with the purchase. Very happy with the grind. Sailor Pro Gear Special Edition Notion. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, when I have some interesting tidbits, I I just like to share it with everyone. Thanks and have a good one.